Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today I thought I'd show a little love to Warpath. Now we're gonna run a little Shadowland with this guy and we're gonna run a little World Boss with him. But before we get into this guys, I got a bit of bad news for all of you right now. Uh, the Crystal Coupons are finished for the moment. I'm gonna have to wait until I get some more coupons from Netmarble. So guys, you know, I won't be asking any comic book questions until I get some more coupons and I'll let you guys know when that happens. So let's get into this, some action here. We're going to be using Ancient One here because we're going to face Corvus and I need some Ignore Dodge. And Ancient One's going to give that 25% plus we're going to use Ancient One as a heal if we need it. We're going to use uh, Nick Fury for his 50% increase all attack and also for his increased damage dealt to supervillain types by 55%. He does give super armor and I'm pretty sure that Warpath already has super armor. Let me look here real quick. Uh, yeah, he already has super armor so that doesn't really matter having Nick on the team. But the 50% all attack and the 55% damage dealt to supervillains does help. So he, uh, I've only did just a small change to his build. Uh, the only thing I've done is I changed this obelisk. The obelisk I had before was a crit damage with 140% damage proc, but this one has ignore dodge on it. So that way, with this 34% ignore dodge and 25% 25 from uh, Ancient One, that'll be giving us 59%, which is more or less about 60%. And just throw in two 20% ignore dodge strikers, and we'll have. 100% ignore dodge is what you want against Corvus because if you don't have it You're not gonna be doing any damage because Corvus will be dodging everything So my warpath has 18,600 physical attack. He has ma almost max attack speed 53 crit rate 195 critical damage almost max ignore defense and max skill cooldown. He does have leadership But we're not gonna be using a uh, white fox in the for this video All of his gears are at 20 no urus all of his skills are at 6. No, uh, he has a stage 6 power of Angry Hulk, and you guys seen the obelisk. And, you know, guys, I gotta tell you, man, this guy, he's pretty awesome. No doubt, man, he's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm really enjoying him. Uh, but, boy, you guys will see against Corvus. Woo-wee, he can be a little rough to keep alive. So, <laughs> but man, in Shadowland, he is awesome. So, Let's get into the action. Let's rock and roll. So let's get us a scalp. Now I have played this quite a few times, you guys. Man, I'll tell you what, this bleed that Corvus has will mess up old Warpath. It is vicious against him. His defenses are not very good. He has decent survivability, it's just Man, guys, if he gets bled a little bit, he will die pretty quick. It doesn't take much. I mean, his, like I said, he cannot take too many hits. It, it's, yeah, man. That's really the only bad thing about him. Other than that, his damage is pretty respectful. Now, we're in stage 40. I actually uh, played stage 39, and you guys can see a little screenshot in the upper right-hand corner there. I took it down to a minute and yeah it was easy piece of cake so I thought I'd try stage 40 and push him a little bit more and remember you guys you know he's only got a 140 proc he's still level 60 he doesn't have any urus so I could I could build this guy up way stronger and I am using Nick Fury's leadership but it's just you know just picture if he had a beast leadership it'd still be 50% physical attack similar to Nick Fury's 50% all attack and Nick Fury gives 55% damage dealt to supervillains. And if I was running with Shuri, then I'd have 45%. So I'm only gaining 10% more damage dealt to supervillains by running with Nick Fury. Instead of having the team of Warpath, Beast, and Shuri. You know, which makes a little bit of a difference, but not a huge difference. And we're running, we got Scarlet in here, and we got Deadpool. Anti-Venom for those heals, because believe me, you need all the heals you can get when you're playing against Corvus. Against uh, Proxima and Thanos, man, his survivability is pretty sweet. You know, Proxima, she can be a little bit of a pain sometimes, but for the most part, it's not too difficult to keep him alive again against her, as long as you bring in Anti-Venom. But against Corvus, man, you better have some heal action. 
<laughs> you better have some heels. He uh, got, like I said, guys, if he if he pokes you, you're, that bleed will kill you. So we're going to get that attack buff right here. Watch out here. Watch out for this. I'm going to try to be sneaky here. Switch. I don't want any damage coming from Nick Fury, so I got to switch as quick as I can. And guys, I mean, look at that damage, man. He he does got some good damage, man. He's a beastly, he's a beastly mofo. He's pretty mean. It's just like I said, like right here, switch. You gotta get, you gotta get him out of there. Hopefully, okay, good. I didn't lose Ancient One. Switch here. Our Warpath still got quite a bit of life. Don't need Ancient One's heal. And you gotta be real careful with the purple guys. Real careful. In fact, a lot of times when you start seeing that purple, it might almost be a good idea to switch. Because even if you're in an iframe, the purple will kill you. So that's something to keep in mind. It's, I mean, sometimes I just say screw it like I just did there and I take a chance and, you know, we'll get lucky and survive and sometimes you'll just freaking die. Alright, we're going to get that attack buff again. Switch. There we go. Yeah, look at that damage, guys. I mean, oh my god. I know it's only stage 40. It's not like some huge accomplishment with a character. But, it, you know, he's free to play. I think it's pretty decent. It's not too bad. You know, we always want it to be better, but it's not too bad. But honestly, guys, yeah, we're going to get some heals right here. Yeah, Ancient One, fill us up, fill us up. But anyways, honestly, guys... Shadowland is where he really, really shines. I mean, he's got... Now, right there, I had to switch. That's what I'm talking about, guys. When you get in a switch, situation like that where you see all that purple coming, you better switch your character. Like, seriously, or you will die. Warpath will croak easy. And right there, yeah, you don't want to get hit by that either. I don't think it'd one-shot him if he has a full amount of life, but it will hurt him big time. You, you need every bit as, as much life as you can keep on him to keep him alive but he's super fun to play man I'm enjoying the crap out of him yeah let's not let that hit us okay so whoa see I was in the middle of an iframe I had to freaking switch my character and that's this is what's kind of hurting this right now you know like because I'm switching my character so much it's it's really knocking off a lot of the time man we're killing a lot of time and that kind of sucks like, I don't think we're going to be able to clear this. I mean, it's going to be close. And by the way, I'm not trying to clear it either. I don't want to clear this stage. And guys, some people always ask me, why don't I use the co-op? If I'm not trying to clear a top level stage, like the highest level I can do, then I don't use the co-op, guys. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to get it done. Yeah, there ain't no way. So, I mean, just a little over half a bar left. It, I think with a little bit better run, it could have done this. So let's go into Shadowland and see how he does there. So here we are in stage 50, guys, using his leadership. No extra support, just Warpath. And watch this guy just murder this thing. I mean, he's got stuns on three skills, all defense down on two skills, on his five and his three. And man, you just look at, he just, the crowd control, the damage, I mean, he is built to mutilate Shadowlands. I mean, he is just, this, this is fun. I, I'm loving this. I mean, look at it, guys. He's just locking them down, beating the holy crap out of these guys. There's nothing they can do. It's just murder. I mean... 2,600,000 HP on the on Thor and Groot and Jane Foster and he's just mutilating it. It's he's pretty vicious, man. This, this, like I said, guys, this is where he shines. This is where the Apache freaking gets his scalps. Seriously, I mean, he is awesome in this. I mean, he could go higher, guys, for sure. I mean, look at this. He could easily go higher without no support or leadership. Pretty bonkers, guys. I guarantee this guy could do probably stage 60 and up at level 60 with my crappy build. I mean, it's it's pretty insane. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.